Hi, I'm Bob. I'm an electrician and um, I'm going to install a safe switch. And so I'm going to go through the steps that you probably take when somebody says, hi, I've got a safe switch and I want to put it in. Okay, so in this case, we have a safe switch uh, that has been planned and it's, it came and it comes in looking like this. Uh, so from an electrician's perspective, it looks pretty freaky because there's a lot going on, but there really isn't. And the overall concept is these are a series of relays. And what you're doing is you're taking the circuit, interrupting it in the panel, sending it over to one of the relays and then back to where it goes. And so you're given wires that are all labeled the in and the out, the coming and the going with the neutral and the hots. And all you're doing is attaching this box to your panel. And then it communicates. And the purpose of this, of course, is that these relays are controlled by a remote. So you can stay away from the power and just have your remote, which is one of these. And you can turn this box, which goes to that box, your main service, off and on from your bed. Okay, so I come to the panel and I've loosened the screws, but you're gonna take the cover of the panel off. Now, what you're, the first thing you're gonna look for is extra room in the panel. And I'm gonna, basically, I usually look at the panel this way before I take it off. And I looked at this panel and first off I said, oh my goodness, there is absolutely no room. But then um, I took the cover off and luck had it that there were two empty breaker spots, which is exactly what I needed for this particular installation. Because this safe switch also has a filter in it that's filtering the whole house. And so it requires a full 220. And basically it's not using the 220, it's just connecting the 220 with the filter so the filter can monitor and work with the whole house or anything connected from both phases because that's why it's 220. You wanna get both phases. And so that's what this does right here. And so, my first, the most technical thing, and the thing that's the hardest, is connecting this to the panel. And you have to figure out how exactly you're gonna do it. Um, the panel comes with a right angle fitting and one inch flex. And then the other side is given to go into, so that if you had a surface mounted panel, you can go next to it and go from one to the bottom of another. Now, you're always gonna find different things, like for instance, this. And the key is to make it the cleanest that you possibly can. So in this case, I'm gonna mount the panel a little higher and I'm gonna go directly into this box. And to do that, I use the famous hole saw. And so what I'm gonna do now is drill a hole larger than the hole that I'm gonna put in the panel. And there's a knockout here. It's just the one that I want. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna try the hole saw. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I've mounted the box. I've got the flex through the wall into the box. So now we're gonna start wiring the box. First thing I'm gonna do is find the power, the power neutral, and the ground. So the first thing we wanna do is hook up the ground. So I find the existing ground bar of the panel, which is right here, and I'm gonna put this ground into it. One thing that you have to remember, by code, 
you can have two grounds under a single screw only on the ground you can't do that with a neutral but you can have two grounds under one screw that allows you in a situation where all your screws already have a wire underneath you are to code able to put another ground wire as long as that is a tight connection Okay, so I'm about to hook up my first circuit. And so first I have to ID the wires. And the, each wire has um, numbering on it and letters, okay? And so what we have is a neutral coming and going and one circuit coming and going. So the circuit, so what we have is CB1, which means that it goes to circuit breaker. And then BC1A is the load. So what happens is one wire goes to the circuit breaker. The other wire goes to the load, which was the wire that was sticking into the circuit breaker. So basically what you're doing is you're taking the wire out of the circuit breaker and you're running it through the switch. Okay, so one of these wires goes to the circuit breaker, the other goes to the wire that you disconnected from the circuit breaker. You do the same thing with the neutral. You ID the neutral for this particular circuit that you're using, and then um, you get both sides of it. So I'm gonna start because the first circuit we're interested in is this one right here. This will be 1A. Okay, so now I'm going to make the first connection for the first relay for the first circuit. One of my wires says CB1A, so that's the circuit breaker. So in the circuit breaker in the off position, I will put the wire in. But the first one actually I'd like to put is the wire going to the load because the last thing I want to do is hook up the power because I don't want a live end meaning that I don't want this way it's safer because I make this connection first and the reason I'm keeping the wires long right now is because I don't want to get rid of the labels I need to know the labels in case something goes wrong I can make sure that I did wire it correctly if you cut the labels off you don't know if you did it right Okay, the next thing I have to do is find the neutral that goes with this circuit. So I find where I've connected this to, I go up to the Romex and I find the neutral that's connected to that. And it's right here, going to the bar. I'm gonna release the neutral from the neutral bar. Okay, so now I've found my two N1As right here and what I'm going to do is this is the neutral coming down so I'm going to attach one to the neutral and the other one goes to the neutral bar so here I'm going to find the closest neutral bar which happens to be up here so in order for wire management purposes i'm going to try and slide the wire into the back and up so it's out of the way okay so now um i'm taking the second circuit and i've just i've taken it out of the circuit breaker here making sure it's off i've put the one that goes to this, which is CB1B. This one is CB1A. This is CB1, which means circuit breaker. So the CB stands for the one that goes to the circuit breaker. Then the load, the wire that came from the circuit breaker, goes to BC. 
same one. So there's the, there's the wire from the circuit breaker. Here's the power from the circuit breaker going in to here, this wire right here, and then it comes out of this wire here, goes back and goes to the load. And then the same thing happens with the neutral. Here's the neutral. The neutral, we grabbed it, we ran it through a switch, and then put it back into the neutral bar. So what happens is when circuit relay A goes off, this circuit breaker here is shut off. When you press B, this circuit breaker is shut off. And the great news is that you're not in the circuit breaker box doing it. You're in your bedroom just with a remote. And that's the purpose of this box. This is our new four zone remote control. With separate on and off buttons. This home had a body voltage reading of 920 millivolts before the EMF safe switch was installed and activated. 36 millivolts after. It also has solar panels on the roof and three Tesla power walls and a lot of dirty electricity. 1,917 gram steps of units before, 216 gram steps of units after EMF safe PQ2 filter.